Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be thrifting. I am outside of one of my favorite places in Nashville to thrift called Thrift Smart, and I thought we were long overdue for a thrift with me video. Jason is working with a client in the house today, so I thought this would be the perfect time to take you guys thrifting. Plus, it's been a while since I've stepped inside a thrift store, and I'm feeling really excited to see what all there is. It is very roasty toasty outside today, so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna be thrifting for summer stuff or fall stuff or home stuff but i thought we could just go in and see what all there is if you guys are new to my channel i'll link my thrift playlist down below if you are into thrift with me videos i have tons of those that you can check out but let's go on in and see what there is all right i just got in thrift smart and it is actually so busy today which is kind of wild. It's a Monday at 1 p.m. and I'm shocked how many people are here, but I'm really excited to look through everything. They have rearranged the store since the last time I was here, so I'm not feeling very familiar with the layout of this place, so I'm probably just gonna wander around and see what there is. But right now, I'm over in their higher-end accessories, so everything that is like name brand is in cases here, and you can ask to look at stuff if you want, but I'm gonna start over here and then I'm gonna work my way over to the other side of the store. They always have really cool vintage clutches here. Last time I was here and really got to look through everything, I ended up buying a beaded clutch for one of my friends for Christmas, and I just love seeing all the vintage that they have. They have a racing video game set up. Also, fun fact, Jaywaz and I have been watching a lot of Drive to Survive on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, it's really, really good. Even if you're not into F1, it's very, very entertaining. formal dresses and a lot of them are unused and still have tags on them and they would be honestly so great as like bridesmaids dresses but so many cute ones i really like this one but sadly it's not my size Okay, so far I found a couple different tanks in a really cool emerald green jumpsuit. All right, so my goal with this thrift trip is to not get stuff that I have in my wardrobe. So I'm going for things that would basically be filling holes in my current wardrobe. And so I'm gonna stay away from jeans and just things like basics. But I found a couple of really cool pieces that I think are extremely different than anything that I have. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is my top. <laughs> I think I donated this shirt last year when we moved. So hopefully someone grabs it. It's very tropical. Also, I don't know why, but I am seriously drawn to everything this color. It's the color I'm wearing. I have two pieces of green clothing in my cart. I was drawn to this, which is also green. So it's gonna be a miracle if I buy something that isn't green. <laughs> Okay, I was able to find two Madewell pieces, a t-shirt and this shirt, but I don't think I'm gonna get either because one of them's a t-shirt and I don't need more t-shirts. And then the other one, I honestly just don't really like the style. Even though it's Madewell, I feel like it's not worth getting if I don't love it. I am gonna look through the pants just in case. I know I have a lot of denim, so I'm not gonna try to get any more jeans, but just in case there's a fun pair of pants here, I would love to find a chocolate brown pair of pants. I've been very into that shade of brown and so I would love to have a pair of like trousers in that shade. This is 
exactly what I want, but it's not my size. I'm so sad because this is the color that I really, really want. These are very, very cool. If they had these in my size, I would totally get them because the material is beautiful. Okay, I actually really wish that I brought a sweater because I am so cold in here. I was not expecting that. It's like 92 degrees today. So in the car, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be fine. It's really hot outside, but it's actually so cold in here and I am shivering. But now I'm in the long sleeve tops. I only found two tanks that I liked. So I'm gonna look through long sleeves and then sweaters. And we might be finding some fall stuff today, which is crazy. I guess it's August, but still it feels really early. excited i found a disco cowgirl t-shirt which is a brand that started here in nashville and they've gotten relatively big but they have like really expensive t-shirts and they're like screen printed here in nashville i believe but i've always won one and i think i'm gonna crop that one so that it's more of like a distressed vibe another Madewell piece but again I just don't think I would wear this okay this is a color combination that I truly don't think I've ever seen before and I think for good reason this is so awful and and it's not even showing up as like neon on camera as it is in person this is terrible absolutely not okay I actually really like this one it's from Airy it's super super soft but again it's that olive green and I feel like I can't get it because I already have three other things that are olive green in my cart but it is really cozy hmm this one's a maybe okay I'm pretty sure I'm in the women's shorts so these were miscategorized but I just found 40 pairs of these brownly swim trunks which are really nice. So if I can find a pair in Jason's size, I don't know that he would ever wear these. I think they were categorized as like women's because they're definitely very colorful and vibrant. They are a men's swim trunk. So I don't know, maybe they just got put here by accident. All right, now I am over in all the home stuff. Of course, starting in the glasses, even though I don't need more. I still like to look because there's always really cool vintage glasses here at this specific thrift store. And I have a hard time saying no to a cool vintage glass. So we're just gonna look and I only get it if it's amazing and I could see it maybe like replacing a previous one that I've thrifted, but we're not gonna go crazy today, I promise, on glassware. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. This is a bookend that is extremely ugly. <laughs> okay, the only thing that I could see Jaywas being okay with me getting at this point as far as glasses go are maybe more wine glasses, because we only have like a couple of those, but I feel like even that, he's gonna be like, you got more glasses. Okay, but this is like the coolest thing ever. Am I really gonna not get this? Like, look at this thing, 99 cents so cool but now that i'm looking at it i can't tell if it's like a candle holder or a drinking glass could definitely just hold a candle if it is a drinking glass i think that's so cool okay i can't tell if it would be cluttery or cute to get little Christmas glasses. Aren't those so adorable like during the holidays? Your Christmas glass. I think that's so cute and they have so many different ones like this one and then they have these actual stemmed ones. They're so adorable. All right, I just found the worst aisle in this place. Oh absolutely not all right so we are currently looking for some art for our house because we realize that all of our walls are bare i don't think we're gonna get this since this is a person riding on two dolphins i think but maybe i'll find something that's really cool here mostly i just want to know who in the world had this in their home to begin with We 
we're not really looking for something this large, but I really like it. It's very abstract, but still like has some color in it. Oh, there's another one in this bin, also really big. All right, you know when You've been in the thrift store for so long that you walk out and you can't remember where you parked. That was me. I got a pretty good amount, but I was honestly kind of disappointed in what I found in the home section. So I want to go buy a Goodwill on my way home and just kind of run through there really quickly. I did, however, grab three pieces of clothing, four pieces of clothing that I'm actually really excited about, but I'm gonna stop at Goodwill on the way home. One of the Thrift Smart employees actually recognized me from my videos. Her name is Lily and she gave me a little 50% off card to use in the store. So I actually got everything for $17, which was a really good deal, but I'm gonna go to Goodwill now and then head home. All right, I didn't think this would be possible, but the Goodwill is even busier than Thrift Smart. So apparently Mondays are a very popular day to be at thrift store. So when I was at Thrift Smart, I wasn't actually able to find the sweater section. I don't know if maybe I missed it or if it was like separated from the rest of the women's clothing. So I'm gonna start in sweaters here at Goodwill. less stuff than usual feels very sparse today but honestly maybe it's a sign and i'm not supposed to get more stuff for the house i don't know why but the christmas aisles are bringing me the most joy of every aisle that i've gone down here and at thrift smart i'm just so ready for christmas and the holidays and mostly for it to be cold outside all right it is the next day and after i went to goodwill i came home i threw everything in the wash and so i'm going to show you guys what i got i think i got some really good clothing items i only got one thing that was for the home and it was a mug which i think i might have put in the dishwasher let me go check okay this is the mug that I got. I actually got this for Jason. I was in the Christmas aisle at Thrift Smart and I saw this and I just, I fell in love with it and I knew Jason would like it because it has train on it. For those of y'all who are new to my channel, Jaywaz loves trains, not in like a weird way, but for his birthday last year or the year before that, we went on a train ride in Chattanooga and we just have always really enjoyed trains. So. This is a little Christmas tree with a train around it. It just made me think of him and I thought it'd be so cozy around Christmas time to break this out. And this could be his Christmas mug because he loves coffee, but he also loves trains. So I just thought this was like the perfect mug. Anyway, this is the only house item that I got. I didn't really find much. I really think that maybe it was a good thing that I didn't find anything. I checked the Thrift Smart and the Goodwill and nothing really stuck out to me as even like a possibility. It was kind of weird. The Goodwill that I went to normally is really stocked, but their home selection was like really, really sparse. Even the glassware, like they really didn't have any glasses, which I feel like the Goodwills always have glassware. They normally don't have like cute decoration items, but they always have tons and tons of glasses. Whereas this time there seriously were maybe like three sets of glasses and I hardly saw any mugs at that Goodwill that I went to. So I don't know, maybe they're like switching around and they sent their like home stuff to a different Goodwill. I'm not really sure, but I was honestly really surprised because I've always gone to that one and have like found stuff in their home section. But anyway, it was probably a good thing that I didn't come home with more mugs and cups and glassware, but I'm gonna show you guys the clothes that I got. I'm actually really excited for all of these for very different reasons. So the first thing that we'll start off with is this t-shirt that I got. I showed you guys this, I got it at 
Thrift Smart. This is a disco cowgirl shirt. This must be like one of the OG shirts of theirs, but it, it's just a little Nashville brand. I thought it'd be really cute. Cropped like this, could throw a denim jacket over it or a cardigan or a leather jacket, which would be really cool with jeans. I just thought it'd be cozy. Their t-shirts are really, really soft. So I'm really excited to have something that is Nashville based. This is the t-shirt. I've got it paired with some black jeans from Abercrombie. My Fry sneakers, these are currently on sale for like 60 bucks and they're normally like 250. So I think they are gonna be like out of stock forever. I think they're getting rid of like the last few. So they're going on major sale, which I'm sad about, but also excited for because it's a really good deal. I've had them for years. Anyway, this is how I would style this t-shirt. I probably would throw it on with a jacket like this or like a denim jacket or one of my free people jackets and just kind of wear it more edgy. I already cropped it. So I took some scissors to it after I washed it. And I think after I wash it one more time, it will kind of roll and shrink up a little bit, but I think it's super, super cute. It's really comfy and I like the way that it fits. It's like not super tight. I feel like it's just a really comfy kind of t-shirt. So really, really like it. And I feel like it'll be really easy to wear and style and it's literally so soft. It's like a really thin t-shirt. I know I said I wasn't gonna get t-shirts, but I did get another t-shirt. So I got that t-shirt, which was like a no-brainer because it's like a fun Nashville brand. But I ended up grabbing this t-shirt because it has shoulder pads in it. I don't have any t-shirts with shoulder pads. I actually never jumped on that trend. Oh, that's not true. I have one sweater tank that I got from Aritzia with shoulder pads, but I don't have any t-shirts with shoulder pads. So I only have one top with shoulder pads. Anyway, this is a t-shirt from Gap and it's in my favorite color apparently, which is olive green and it's got shoulder pads. So I thought this would be great with jeans and a booty in the fall. How cute would this be? Like a little transitional outfit. This ripped denim, a cute pair of boots. Okay, this is the t-shirt and I think this is how I would style it. I honestly probably need a little bit more time to play around with it, but I feel like this is a really easy way to wear this kind of into fall. So I've got it paired with some perfect vintage straight jeans from Madewell. They're more of like a gray wash. And then I've got on a Madewell suede booty and my Gucci chain wallet. It's funny because in the fall, I really do go a little bit more like dark and not really edgy, but I'll wear combat boots and dress a little bit more grungy in the fall and winter. But anyway. That's how I would style it. I think it's really, really cute. I love the color of it. The shoulder pads are super fun and I think it looks really good. This is what the shirt looks like closer up. The shoulder pads are really prominent, but I think it gives the top a really great silhouette. So I love the way that it looks tucked in. You could also tuck it up underneath a bra and wear it more of like a crop, but I think it looks really, really good. And I love the olive green. It definitely fits very seamlessly into my existing wardrobe. So I'm feeling really good about this and I feel like I could wear this with blue denim as well. Moving on to the more interesting pieces, I grabbed this button down, which I, you guys are new to my channel. I love button downs. They're kind of my uniform, I feel like. Button downs, anything with buttons, sweaters with buttons, button downs, I just love tops with them buttons apparently. This one is from the brand Philosophy, which is sold at TJ Maxx. I remember seeing that brand at TJ Maxx all the time because I used to work at TJ Maxx in high school and I always saw the Philosophy brand. I was like, oh, that looks nice. Anyway, it's this beautiful blush and white striped button down, super, super lightweight. I thought this would be really cute tucked into jeans or obviously you could wear it open over a tank and kind of transition it into fall. It's just really, really, really soft, like the most lightweight, soft material. I love this button up top. I feel like whoever gave this up, it was meant to come into my life because this is me in a top. I've got it on with some denim, this Madewell woven bag, and I just think it's so cute. I love the shade of pink. It's almost like a peachy pink, so it's not baby pink or like a fuchsia. It's the most perfect 
peachy pink and I'm obsessed with it. But this is the full outfit. I love a button up with denim. Got it on with a Madewell heel that matches my Madewell bag and it just feels very clean. These are the Abercrombie Ultra High Rise Straight Jean and they are really, really cute with a button up tucked in. So you could obviously wear it open over a tank, but I really like it worn as a top. Next up, I got this tank and this is definitely gonna be a home run or just a disaster. So this is a vintage piece and it looks like it could be amazing or it could be absolutely terrible. So it's got the high neck, which I'm obsessed with, with all of the ruffles in it. Not ruffles, what would you call this? Pleats, pleats in it. Anyway, it is so powerful. Look at, like this neck is gonna be intense. And then the back has the buttons with the little keyhole opening. And then it's just a tank. What I'm worried about with this and why I almost didn't get it is because it's gonna be a lot of fabric to tuck in. So I don't know if you would wear this with like maybe a pair of black skinny jeans and then black boots or something like that. I don't really know. Or a faux leather legging. That could be really cute because then it could just kind of drape. So you could have something loose on the top and then something super fitted on the bottom. Or I could maybe tuck it up underneath like a sports bra and wear it more tucked in. Anyway. It's a lot of fabric, so I thought I would just take a chance on it and play around with it. I've honestly gotten into the habit of bringing everything home and washing it and then trying it on and styling it up when I get home versus trying it on in the dressing room. 2020 really just made me super lazy at trying things on in dressing rooms. So hoping that everything works. Okay, I cannot tell if I really like this or if I don't like this at all. It's definitely like split right down the middle. I've got it on with some faux leather leggings from Aritzia, these Perenza Schuler heels, and then my Chanel double flat bag. I feel like this would be a really good like winter holiday party outfit. I love the neckline on it. I love all of the pleats and flowiness of the fabric. The only thing I can't figure out is if it just looks weird. I like all the elements of the top, but I can't figure out if I like the top itself. I think I'm gonna tuck it in to my bra so we can assess if that's better, but something about it feels strange to me. I don't know, maybe it needs like a belt or something. Would a belt be cute? Do people still wear belts? Hmm, I don't know if that would be better. Okay, give me one second. Okay, this is a really quick tuck, so it doesn't look the best right now, but I think if I actually wore the right bra underneath it and took a little bit more time to actually like tuck it in correctly, I think it could actually be really cute. So maybe I like it more cropped and tucked in. Maybe that's the move. I really love the color and the fabric and the neckline of this. I feel like that's really pretty. So something about the length of it, I think, I don't know, made it look a little bit more aged, whereas I feel like this look feels a little bit more, more fresh. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe I'll like play around with it tucked in like this. I think this would be seriously a great like holiday outfit party, holiday party outfit. <laughs> or it would also be great to wear to like an event kind of in the fall or winter since it is a little bit more, I don't know, it, it gives me kind of like gold vibes. So it feels a little bit more gold than it does neutral. So I feel like I would opt into wearing this more like holiday, but I guess it's not like metallic. So I probably could wear it in fall, summer. Either way, I'm gonna play around with it some more. I think I like this though. So at least we have one outfit down. Next up is a dress that I found at the Goodwill. So I found the pink top at Goodwill and then this dress at Goodwill. I think these are the only two things I found at Goodwill. But guys, this is literally me in a dress. This is the Universal Threads brand, so the Target brand. That's basically a rip of Madewell. How cute is this for fall? And it's in my size. I was so excited to find this. It basically feels new. It's in really good condition. It's got all these tiers on the front. It's in this beautiful goldeny brown color and it's a lightweight cotton linen looking material and it's just super flowy. So I thought this would be so cute with a little pair of heels and 
this would be so adorable with boots as well so you could wear it into the fall i think this would be such a cute fall dress you could even throw like a cardigan over it if it was a little bit colder but anyway i was just shocked to find this and the fact that it was in my size i was like it feels like fate all right this is the dress and it's so comfy it is seriously so cozy i love how loose it is it's a really great length on me i've got it on with a pair of free people platform heels and i just think it's so perfect for fall i'm so excited the second i put this on i was like can it please be cold outside so that i can actually wear this i feel like we're getting to the point where maybe i could wear a long sleeve dress it's a pretty thin fabric so i can wear this very early fall but i still kind of feel like it's a little bit too hot here in nashville to actually break this out but i think it looks so cute with black boots as well or even with like a heel but it has so much flowy movement and this is an up close of the fabric you can see it's got some nice texture in it and it has a v-neck it's got pockets and i love the color it just makes me feel like fall in a dress last piece and this one is definitely the wild card because i I have no idea if this is gonna fit. And this is something that I probably should have tried on in the dressing room, but I was like, it's gonna fit. This is a piece from H&M. It is a satin forest green jumpsuit. Oh yeah, baby. It's got pants built in. It's a cropped fit. So I think on normal people, it would be probably to like mid shins on me. Oh, Riley. Oh, it's the post. Riley, it's just the post office guy. It's just USPS. Stay down. All right. <laughs> I've got her like looming in the background. Since I'm five foot two, anything cropped is full length on me. So I think it's gonna be full length, but is this not so adorable with like a black heel? I am obsessed with this color. It's the most beautiful forest gray green I've ever seen. And it's got a tie for the front and I just thought it would be so cute. And it's like brand new because the pockets are still sewn shut. There's no weird stains on it, no rips on it. I got this at Thrift Smart and I have a feeling that this could be amazing, but if it doesn't fit, it could be terrible. But I think it's gonna be amazing. I have high hopes for this one. Okay, I definitely need y'all's opinion on this one because I feel like it might be slightly long in the torso, which is honestly really normal for me. Everything is very long on me. However, I don't think it looks bad. Like I can tell it doesn't fit me like a glove. Like this should be a little bit shorter. And it's honestly maybe something that I could like have taken in or at least like have the shoulder straps raised a little bit. I feel like if I did that, honestly, all of it would fit better, but it definitely rides a little bit low on me so where the bust should be is a little bit low on me and then the crotch is like at mid thigh on me right now so it is definitely long on me but i don't think it looks bad so i can't tell if it looks bad enough to where i should like get it fixed or if it's good enough to where i can maybe pull it off without it looking like it's just not the correct size on me but i think it's so cute i'm obsessed with this color this would look so so pretty to like a nice event or out to dinner i love the shade of green i like that it's not emerald i don't really like emerald like a green blue so the fact that this is like a forest green is so good here's kind of a closer look this is like where the the crotch should be kind of around this general area so it is definitely like two or three inches long, but I feel like if this got taken up, maybe it would all hit a little bit better, but I really don't think it looks bad though. That's the thing is I don't think it looks bad enough to actually like take it in to get fixed. It probably would only cost like 20 bucks to get this shortened. So maybe I should just do it, but I really, really like it. I think it's a really pretty color. I love the material. Even though it's H&M, it feels really great. Like it's a thicker material, which is nice. And the belt itself is thicker. So everything feels really, really nice as far as like the quality of it goes. So yeah, 
Maybe I'll take it in, get it adjusted. I really, really love it though. This shade of green is gorgeous. But those are all of the pieces that I ended up getting on my thrift trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was from my haul. And if you are new here and you wanna check out the rest of my thrift videos, I'll have a playlist linked down below in the description box. Be sure to hit that subscribe channel if you want subscribe channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you would like to stick around for some more videos i'd love to have you back on my channel and i will see you guys in my next one really really soon bye guys